Hey folks, PC Outcast here, back with more uh, Prismata. And uh, this latest episode has been an absolute freaking pain in the ass. As you can see, Comnet is already ticked off. That's because I have beat it already, but I was, I, I think I've played it about 500 times. And sometimes I beat it and sometimes I don't go on long, I go on long streaks, which are usually the ones that I'm recording where I'm just losing and losing and losing and losing. <laughs> anyway, I think I finally put together a system that I've, I've actually written down what to do on each turn so that I can beat this damn thing. And thanks to the magic of the internet, you get to be saved all the frustration I've had over the last couple of days and just see the fruits of that labor. So after learning that the hostile robots were infected with the Vile, a wirelessly transmitted malware program, the team travels to Centauri Data Control to disable the city's comnet. I can't believe we're disabling network access for the entire city. The sentients won't be happy that we're quarantining their communications. They're lucky we're not removing their freaking batteries or EMPing their metal asses. No, Suede, that would be murder. There's absolutely no need for that. We haven't received a single report of a vile infected sentient. How would we even know they're infected? The wafer brains are a bunch of sociopaths, even without the vial. Hey, I go to a restaurant owned by a sentient, and she's the sweetest old robot lady in the world. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Logan. Let's get to the, get the city offline. Gee, this place looks familiar. Data control is down in the basement. Do we require a federal permission certificate to disable the comnet? I can issue one under martial law. Uh, we don't need a federal anything in Centauri. Just follow me, I have an access card. All right, I just need to authenticate and execute a few commands. Where are the staff? Is it normally this empty? Yeah, the whole freaking network's automated. Crap, I think one of my scripts triggered an alert. Now the entire city knows that the comm net's going down. Damn it, we just painted a big fat target on ourselves. Look at the live feed. The warning activated three more structures. Three of them? What the hell? Logan, hurry up and kill the network. I'll deal with this. I'm coming. Come in, General. This is Captain Ar Aravani. We're under attack. Requesting immediate authorization to deploy forces and immediate access to the blueprint for Shadowfang. My apologies. I'm away from my desk today. Please leave a message and I'll touch base with you later. In the event of an emergency, please contact the concierge at Ellis Spades Casino and Pleasure Lounge. Come on. Hey Logan, any chance you have a Shadowfang blueprint lurking in your private stash? Shadowfang? Let me check. Yep, found it. Transferring the file to you now. Uh, how did he get that blueprint? It's classified military property. Don't worry about it. Logan has his ways. Let's do this. Right. So, destroy everything. There are probably a few different ways to actually beat this, but... There's a particular order that I've managed to come up with that seems to work for me, so we'll go with that. Amazing, looks like Gazelle's swarm-wielding assistant program is still running on the slate. Great, because I really need a ro zombie robot to tell me how to do my job. This, so we can build a wall. We're gonna lose an engineer on this turn. Oops. You should make plenty of shadow fangs. They'll be effective in combination with gilded drones and walls. Why don't you deploy your own swarm instead of being a backseat driver? Deploying forces without authorization is a serious military conduct violation. I'll get court-martialed. They won't make an exception when a bunch of deranged soup cans are about to blow your head off? Well, 
We're only in danger if you fail. Great. <coughs> um. All right, so we want a wall. Oops. Give me a wall. And grab an animus. And a gilded drone. Yes. Well, get an engineer too. The wall protects us against up to level up to two damage. So that gives us a couple of turns. Now we can do one shot of thing. And grab another animus. And a drone. Alrighty. Two shadow fangs and a wall. Another couple shadow fangs and a wall. Sacrifice an engineer so that we can save one wall. Another shadow fang. Wall and a couple drones. And that blows through their defenses. So we're going to sacrifice a couple engineers. That is okay though. We will do another couple shadow fangs. And um, and a wall. Pardon me. And throw an engineer in there because we ran out. Burn through the gun bots. Oh no, vile infections were just reported on Tarn Prime. Damn, we wouldn't we weren't able to contain the virus. Do you still have are you do you still live in Tarn Prime? Yes, I need to leave as soon as possible. Alright, a couple more shadow things. And a blast forge. And that's it. Burn the gun bots. We're down to only only doing one damage. We got all the shadow fangs. Let's do a couple of steel splitters and um, blast forge and a couple of drones. Burn through their defenses and we'll do take that one. Take one of the gunbot forges offline. Activate steel splitters and build more. And there you go. Not that we need these, but whatever. Done! Oh, I cannot tell you how much time I spent figuring that out. The infected structures have been eliminated. Okay, everyone, backups are all completed. Comnet should be down now. Looks like it worked. No signal anywhere. Wait, I can't call my jet bike without the network. We'll give you a lift back to HQ. Let's go. En route back to HQ. So I'm thinking about heading to the Zenith Sunrider office. They have a nice fat data connection and I'll be able to continue researching the vial there. Swade, wanna join? The Sunriders? The shady vigilante hackers? Are you guys involved with them? You think the Sunriders are the shady ones? 
The Alliance has warehouses of data from spying on its own citizens. Sunriders are the suspected culprits behind multiple acts of anti-government cyber vandalism. Sunriders may have corrected a few lies in the, in the Alliance government's news bulletins, but I don't consider it vandalism. It's more of a valuable public service. There's no time for this right now. The vial is spreading in Tarn Prime. I need to go. Logan, I'm going with her. And yeah, I'm coming too. No, you're staying here. Eh. What the hell happened to my jet bike? Hmm. Looks like the gun, bo gun, gun bots floss their teeth with it. <laughs> Give me your vehicle. My vehicle? The one you, that you can't lawfully uh, commandeer without a military warrant? Let's see you manage that one with no data connection. If Tarn Prime gets overrun, decades of medical and biotechnological experiments will be ruined. Wouldn't any, wouldn't want any of the Alliance's secret biorobotics weapons to turn vile, eh? Cut it out, Swade. People's lives are at stake. All right, we can take the jumps, the jumpster, uh, but I'm coming. Eh, fine, get in. To be continued. Oh, that's pretty. Episode two, recombination launches in April. Try the combat training challenges while you are waiting. Or play online, I guess. So there you go, folks. That is all we've got for this game. I mean, you can go back and play um, like expert mode and then unlock incendiary biorobotics. You have to complete four expert medals to do that. I currently have zero. And after the frustration I had finishing that, I think I'm going to take a break for now. So I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough of Prismata. And we will see you in another video. Take care.